Hidden amongst thorny brambles is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Great Elf Tree on Christmas Eve. Ben and Holly's Christmas. Hello. Ah, big people. Hello, wise old elf. It's me, Father Christmas. Father Christmas? Christmas. Why are you dressed like that? I'm in disguise. Top secret and all that. Ooh! I've popped down to check how you elves and fairies are doing with the Christmas preparations. Everything is in hand, Mr Christmas. We've made all the toys for you to give to the children of the world. Dolls' houses, footballs and teddy bears. Lovely. And Mr. Elf has been flying day and night, delivering the toys to you at the North Pole. Good, good. And how about the Christmas crackers? The fairies are in charge of the crackers. We have a visitor. Ho, ho, ho. Ah! Of course. You don't know who I am. I'm in disguise. You're Father Christmas. Oh, yes. Mr Christmas, would you like to test a cracker? <laughs> wow, that's loud. Yes, Nanny Plum is in charge of the bangs. Let's bang, please, Nanny. What? But the bang is the best bit. That's why we do the cracker-making underground. Let's try the paper hat. How do I look? <laughs> Very Christmassy. And we've got some good cracker jokes this year. What do you get if you cross a kangaroo and a sheep? A woolly jumper. <laughs> Daddy, that's awful. Cracker jokes are meant to be awful. That's why we get King Thistle to write them. <laughs> and the cracker toys. This year, we've made telephones to put in the crackers. A tiny telephone. Does it really work? No, it's just a lump of plastic. And down there, all the bits and bobs are put into the crackers by magic. Mr Elf has delivered loads of Christmas crackers to the shops already. Good. The big people pick them up and put them on the shelves. And they have no idea the crackers were made by elves and fairies. Jolly good work. And how are the Christmas trees? The pine elves have been growing them all year. We've come to see the Christmas trees. Ho, ho, ho! Hello, Father Christmas. Like the outfit, what fashion is it exactly? Uh, it's meant to be a disguise. So many lovely Christmas trees. Yes, pine elves are good at growing Christmas trees. And we're pine elves! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, this pine tree has little windows in it. Yes. We live in a great oak tree. The pine elves live in a great pine tree. All elves live in trees. Goodness knows why. How do you get all the Christmas trees to the shops? Once a year, the big people come and cut the trees down. And they have no idea the Christmas trees were grown by us little people. But what if they cut down the great pine tree? There's no danger of that. The great pine tree is too big. Everything seems in hand. Thank you, elves and fairies. Our pleasure. I need to get back to the North Pole and change clothes. I can't deliver presents dressed like this. Bye. Bye-bye, Christmas. Now, where did I leave my sleigh? 
The big people should be here any moment to cut the trees down. Here they come! They mustn't see us. Everyone into the great pine tree. You all stay down here. I'm going upstairs to take a look. Close the shutters. Good. Now we're completely hidden. Right, men. Let's cut these Christmas trees down. Timber! Problem. We pine elves are used to the noise. Uh, that was loud. I think they've finished. Excellent. They've taken all the trees. Uh, even the great pine tree. Ah, where's the upstairs gone? The big people have taken it. Don't worry. The wise old elf will sort this out. Uh, where is the wise old elf? It's for you. Oh, hello. Your Majesty. It's a disaster. The great pine tree has been cut down with all the pine elves inside. Well, if they will insist on living in a Christmas tree, what do they expect? <laughs> Your Majesty, that is not helpful. Honestly, why can't they live like normal people in a castle? Nanny Plum, tea break. Ooh, thank you, Queen Thistle. Cracker testing is thirsty work. <gasps> That's the sound of big feet. The big people are coming. They mustn't see the little castle. Oh, yes. Um, uh, I know. I'll shrink it down. Shrink, little castle. Shrink, shrink, shrink. <laughs> Good. With any luck, the big people won't notice it now. Ah, Nanny Plum! You've shrunk me as well! Uh... Oh, here come the big people. Now, where did I leave my sleigh? Oh, what's this? A toy castle. I didn't know the elves were making these. I'm not a toy. I'm Queen Thistle. What's that squeaky noise? Oh, well, I'll just take this toy to the North Pole myself, or else some poor child won't get their Christmas present. Uh, Mr. Christmas! Ho, ho, ho! Away we go! Oh, dear. Home at last. Uh, where is my castle? Uh, somehow it sort of shrunk itself down. And Father Christmas thought it was a toy, and he's taken it to the North Pole. What? Well, if some people will live in houses that look like little toy castles, what do they expect? Hmm. <sighs> the Queen will sort this out. Queen Thistle! We have a little problem up here that we might need a hand sorting out. Where is the Queen? Uh, on her way to the North Pole. Somehow she shrank down inside the castle. I see. I'll just have to sort this mess out myself then. Let's give Father Christmas a ring. Ah, good. A phone. Ah! Put me down. Ah! Get me out of this cracker. Still one more box of crackers? Let's get them loaded. Taking a long time. I'm the king! <laughs> oh, another box of crackers. It's funny, we never see who delivers them. Oh, trapped in a cracker! <sighs> oh, well, at least I can phone for help. Ah, oh, yes, it's not a phone. It's a lump of plastic. Get me out of this cracker! Trees! Last delivery of Christmas trees! Wow, that's a big Christmas tree. Stacked up in a garden centre. How embarrassing. Ah, 
the North Pole. I need to get ready for my Christmas deliveries. One last toy to be wrapped. I'm not a toy. I'm Queen Thistle. King Thistle trapped in a cracker? The wise old elf stuck in a Christmas tree? Queen Thistle wrapped up as a present? What will happen next? Join us again as our Christmas adventure continues. Ben and Holly's Christmas, episode two. It is Christmas Eve and everything has gone a bit wrong. Queen Thistle wrapped in a Christmas present. Let me out! I'm the queen! King Thistle trapped in a Christmas cracker. I'm the king! Get me out of here! And the wise old elf is stuck in a Christmas tree. Up for sale in a shop. How undignified. And there's big people everywhere. Wow! Look at all those big people. Shh! We must keep quiet. No problem. Pied elves are good at keeping quiet. And we're Pied Elves! <laughs> Stay hidden. Nanny, lots of the grown-ups seem to be missing. King Thistle, Queen Thistle, all the Pine Elves. And the wise old elf. Yes, it's not good. Hello? It's me, the wise old elf. Why are you whispering? Listen carefully. It's Christmas Eve. And tonight, Father Christmas will be delivering presents to the children of the world. It's my job to track him. Every year, I follow Father Christmas's journey and make sure he is okay. But this time, I seem to be a bit, um, stuck. So, someone else is going to have to do the tracking. Someone responsible. Me! I'll do it! Me! Me! Okay, Danny Plum, but don't mess it up. Oh, <gasps> big people! Walk in this way! I'm really looking forward to a quiet family Christmas with no talk of fairies and elves. OK, Dad. Ooh, I like this Christmas tree. Yes, Lucy. Let's get that one. And we'll need some Christmas crackers. Oof! Let me out of this Christmas cracker! Let me out! Oh, no! Where to now? So, where exactly is this top-secret Elf Command tracking centre? In the Great Elf Tree. Listen up, everyone. The wise old elf can't be here, so he's put me in charge. Right, Hall. What do these buttons do? Ah! Don't touch anything. It's all automatic. Oof. This screen shows the world, and this flashing dot shows where Father Christmas is. He's at the North Pole. That's right, Holly. He's just about to set off. Ho, ho, ho! Good. That's all the presents packed. Let me out! I'm the Queen! Let me out! What was that tiny squeaky noise? Oh, well, time to go, I think. Ho, ho, ho! Away we go! Look! Father Christmas is moving. He has to deliver presents to all the children. All the children? Even our friend Lucy? Yes. I wonder what Lucy is doing now. There. Don't the decorations look pretty? Let's put the Christmas crackers on. Hooray! I wonder what's inside. <laughs> it will look nice here. Time to switch on the lights. Ooh! What's that flashing light? <gasps> Is that you, wise old elf? Oh, hello, Lucy. And hello, Lucy's mum. Nice to see you both again. But, wise old elf, what are you doing in our Christmas tree? It's a bit of a long story. You see, pine elves live in pine trees. 
And then they... Pine elves? What are pine elves? We're pine elves! <laughs> oh, my goodness! Cool! We've got pine elves in our Christmas tree! That's lovely, but it's probably best if you all stay hidden. Lucy's dad gets a bit nervous around little people. Did someone say little people? Um, eh... Uh... I'm really looking forward to a normal family Christmas with just us three and no talk of little people. Of course, darling. Anyway, it's getting late. Time for your bed, Lucy. Father Christmas won't come unless you're sleeping. OK. <laughs> night, night, Lucy. Night, night. I wonder where Father Christmas is now. Father Christmas has delivered presents to just about every child in the world. Good. Once he's delivered the last one, we can all get some sleep. Look! Father Christmas is almost at Lucy's house. One last present to deliver. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oof. <sighs> that chair looks comfy. I'll just have a little sit down. <sighs> I mustn't fall asleep, but I'll just close my eyes for a moment. The dots have stopped moving. Father Christmas hasn't left Lucy's house. He's fallen asleep. We'll have to go and wake him up. Come on, everyone, for the elf helicopter. Hope we can get there before Father Christmas is discovered. Look, Mummy, a present. We'd like to wish you all a very merry Christmas. Merry Christmas! <laughs> merry Christmas, Lucy. That's Dad. I don't think your dad could take all this. Everyone, hide. Quickly! Hide? Who has to hide? Um, um, Merry Christmas, darling. Let's pull a cracker. Oof! Let me out! Now, let's have a nice, normal Christmas. No weird, magical stuff. Oh, oof! At last! I'm out of that cracker! What? What is that? It's King Thistle. He's our friend from the Little Kingdom, Dad. Ah! Magical weirdness! It's happening again! Hello, Lucy's dad. Um, hello. Allow me the honour of reading you the cracker joke. What's at the North Pole and has two humps? Hmm. A lost camel. <laughs> Good, isn't it? Yeah. I wrote it myself. Uh, Lucy, you haven't opened your present. Oh, yes. <laughs> wow, a tiny fairy castle. Hello, Lucy. Queen Thistle, what are you doing in there? Um, it's a bit complicated, but basically this isn't a toy. It's the real little castle shrunk down. Are you OK? I'll be fine once I'm my own size again. Um, are there any more of you, uh, fairies around here? What's that noise? Ah! Hello, Lucy's dad. Um, hello. Daddy! Mummy! Hello! <laughs> hello, everybody. Um, is that all of you now? Uh, there are the Pine Elves, too. Pine Elves? What are they? We're Pine Elves! They live in our Christmas tree. Pine Elves! Yes, of course. Why didn't I think of that? My goodness, it looks like just about everyone from the Little Kingdom is here. Hello? Um, hello? We heard the Christmas party was around your place this year. We're gnomes, by the way. <laughs> um, it seems we have gnomes as well. Yes, aren't you the lucky ones? <gasps> ah! Hello, big people. Happy Christmas from...
from Planet Bung. Aliens, elves, fairies, gnomes. All we need now is Father Christmas. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Wow, Father Christmas in our house. Ho, ho, ho. What? But who? But how? What my husband's trying to say is, please join us for lunch. Hooray! <laughs> Merry Christmas, Daddy. Oh, Merry Christmas, Lucy. Merry Christmas, everyone. Big and little. <laughs> ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Great Elf Tree on Christmas Eve. Snow! Come on, elves. Let's get the elf plane loaded. Righty ho. Wind the engine. Roger that, Mr. Elf. Wind the engine. Righty ho. Hi, boys. Hi, Hi girls. What's happening? Dad has an important job to do. What kind of job? He's flying to the North Pole. The North Pole? Yes, we're making our final delivery of toys to Father Christmas. Ooh. Flight 1000, ready for takeoff. Flight 1000, you are cleared for takeoff. Roger that, Control. to Father Christmas. Well, who do you think makes all Father Christmas's toys? Um, elves? That's right, us elves. Ah. Elves work all year deep underground in the elf factory making toys. Then, in December, Ben's dad flies to the North Pole and delivers the toys to Father Christmas. Does he land at the North Pole and meet Father Christmas? No, he never lands. He drops the toys by parachute. Then Father Christmas wraps the toys up and delivers them to the children of the world. All the children? Even our friend Lucy? Oh, yes. Even Lucy. I love Christmas. And I love snow. Me too. I wish it was snowing now. Yes, it's Christmas Eve. When's it going to snow? Maybe it's time for a weather forecast. Weather forecast? Yes, we can use my elf weather detector. Wow. So can this machine tell if it's going to snow? Of course. How does it work? I listen to the weather through this giant ear trumpet. It's so sensitive, I can hear a butterfly flapping its wings in Africa. Can you hear any butterflies? Ah, don't talk loudly into the trumpet. Sorry, wise old elf. Now, please stay quiet. Ah, interesting. Is it a butterfly? No, I can hear weather. What sort of weather? Uh, <clears throat> there's a chance of sun or rain with clear skies or clouds. Is it going to snow? I can say it certainly might, but then again, it might not. Oh. I know. Let's ask Nanny Plum if it's going to snow. Why ask Nanny Plum? Nanny can tell the future. Ha! This I must see. <laughs> Nanny Plum! Nanny Plum! You can tell the future, can't you? I certainly can. Can you tell if it's going to snow today? Yes, I'll use my special snow forecasting globe. Oh, I see. You gaze into the crystal ball and it tells our fortune, I suppose. <laughs> no, you just shake it, like this. There we are. It'll snow today. Hooray! Stop, stop, stop. How on earth can that 
thing predicts the weather. It's never been wrong. What if you shook it in the summer? Well, you don't shake it in the summer, obviously. That would be silly. Well, you can't tell exactly when it's going to snow, can you? Yes, I can. It's going to snow now. Abracadabra! That's cheating. No, it's not. Make it snow! Nanny's made it snow. Let's go and see it. <laughs> <laughs> what? But where is the snow? Yeah! Nanny Plum! It's snowing inside. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> snow! Snow! <laughs> Let's play snowballs! <laughs> Nanny Plum, it's snowing in the sitting room. Is this your doing? Yes, it is. Inside is for sitting in armchairs and reading. Outside is for snow. Oh, inside, outside, whatever. Nanny Plum, you're fired. <laughs> Don't be silly. I'm taking away your wand until you learn how to control your spells better. But what about the snow? Not another word. Oh. Everyone out! Now Daddy's taken Nanny Plum's wand. She won't be able to magic any snow. No, we won't have any snow for Christmas. There's always a chance it might snow anyway. I can hear something. Is it snow? No, it's the elf plane. Dad's back from the North Pole. <laughs> ah, that's the last delivery done. Dad, did you see snow? Yes, lots of it. Enough snow to last me a lifetime. Now you've finished your work, Mr. Elf. Are you on holiday? Holiday? Good gracious, no. It's Christmas Eve. There's work to be done preparing tonight's Elf and Fairy Feast. Oh, yes, the Midnight Elf and Fairy Feast. On Christmas Eve. With music and singing and lanterns. Yes, and those lanterns don't hang themselves up to work. Stop, Mr. Elf. It's about time you had a rest. A rest? You've been working hard all year. Just sit down and relax for five minutes. I can give you three. You work too hard. Elves like working hard. And I'm an elf. <gasps> oh, dear. You really must relax. Just say, I'm on holiday. Well, all right. I'm on holiday. Ah. That's nice. Hello? Wise old elf speaking? Ho, ho, ho! It's Father Christmas here. Oh, Mr. Christmas. We seem to be missing some toys. I can't find Box 571. Box 571? I need those toys before tonight. Or some children will not get their Christmas presents. Never fear, Mr. Christmas. We will get the box to you. I will deliver it personally. Box 571? It could be anywhere. We'll never find it. Is it this box, Dad? The one that says Box 571? What? Well done, Ben. You found it. To the elf plane. We leave immediately. Well, that was a nice holiday, while it lasted. Are you going back to the North Pole? Can we come? Can we, Dad? Please? Please, Mr. Elf. I don't mind who comes, but we must leave straight away. Hooray! Brilliant! I'll just get my wand back from King Thistle and then... There's no time for that, Nanny. We need to get these toys to Father Christmas right away. Elf honour is at stake. Ready for takeoff, Captain. Everyone on board. Ben, it's snowing. Oh, wow! Snow! You see, my snow globe is never wrong. Hmm. What do all these... 
buttons do? Don't touch anything, please, Nanny Plum. Wind the engine. Righty ho! Ready for takeoff. We're not going to play in the snow. We're just dropping off the toy box and coming straight home. So we won't meet Father Christmas? Good gracious, no. We're on a mission. There'll be no playing in the snow and no meeting Father Christmas. Join us in our next episode when we play in the snow and meet Father Christmas. Today's adventure starts on Christmas Eve. The North Pole! Are we nearly there yet? Yes, Nanny. We're almost at the North Pole. Will we meet Father Christmas? No, Holly. Remember, we never land at the North Pole. We drop the toys by parachute. Does Father Christmas catch them? No. The toys are collected by... Goblins. Not goblins. Arctic elves. Goblins, pixies, whatever. My brother is an Arctic elf. I didn't know you had a brother. Oh, yes. He's in charge of the Arctic elves. Calling Arctic elves? This is Flight 1001. Receiving you loud and clear, Flight 1001. Please drop the toys. Righty-o! Toys away! Now we can go home. It's a shame we never met Father Christmas or the Arctic Elves. The good thing is, we'll be back in time for the Elf and Fairy Feast. Oh, yes. The Elf and Fairy Feast. At midnight. With dancing and lanterns. Oh dear! The elf plane sounds a bit odd. Is it broken? Of course not. This plane is built to last 1,000 flights. Oh! Ah! Uh, this is flight 1001. Oh look! Lots of cops and things are falling out. Uh oh. We're going down! <gasps> We landed safely. That was lucky. Lucky? We're stuck at the North Pole. But now we might meet Father Christmas. And the Arctic Elves. I suppose we might see some penguins. Oh, I like penguins. Penguins live at the South Pole. This is the North Pole. What's that waddling towards us then? Penguins! Not penguins. Arctic Elves. It's my twin brother. Hello, little brother. Hello. Are you really as old as each other? No, I'm older. But you're twins. I'm older and wiser by three minutes. Hardly older at all. I am the wiser, older elf. <laughs> when you little boys have stopped squabbling, maybe the wisest person here can work out how we get back home. Oh, uh. Maybe Father Christmas could help. Very clever. Follow me, everyone, to the house of Father Christmas. Father Christmas! Maybe if you're lucky, Nanny Plum, you'll see a penguin. <laughs> Violet, can I borrow your wand? OK. Oh, look, wise old elf, a penguin at the North Pole. Oh, very clever, Nanny Plum. What? <laughs> Ooh, Gaston stopped moving. Interesting. Gaston has frozen. Oh, no! We need to get the ladybird somewhere warm. Yes, insects don't like the winter. 
Here we are, the house of Father Christmas. It looks like a Christmas pudding. Oh, wonderful. Yes, little brother, I built it myself. Well, uh, when I said wonderful, I meant it's okay. <laughs> this is Father Christmas's study. We can thaw the ladybird out by the fire. Are these Father Christmas's slippers? Yes, they are. Wow! His feet are bigger than all of us. I think Gaston is thawing out. Well, well. Gaston's back! <laughs> Box 571 delivered. Oh, thank you, little brother. It would be simply spiffing if next year you made the last toy delivery before Christmas Eve. What? At least I make toys. You just wrap them up. Ah, but wrapping toys is the important bit. You have to be as old and wise as me to understand that. You're no wiser than me, but I am by three minutes. And I always will be. Ahem. Talking of wrapping presents, shouldn't somebody be doing that by now? It's Christmas Eve. Goodness me, you're right. To the present wrapping machines. That's the last of this year's presents wrapped. Time for a holiday. Hurrah! We've just brought one more box of toys to wrap. Sorry to end your holiday. That's okay. Arctic elves love wrapping presents. And we're... Oh, no! Arctic elves! We brought you toy robots, dolls, space rockets and cars. Not bad. You've done a good job, brother. Oh, thank you, brother. When the presents are wrapped up, who delivers them? Ho, ho, ho! I deliver them, of course! Father Christmas! Call me Santa. I hear you're in a spot of bother. Yes, we need some help getting home. I've got some work to do tonight. I could drop you off on the way. Are you going our way? I'm going everywhere. Yay! <laughs> I say... That penguin's a long way from home. I'd better drop him off, too. Ho, ho, ho! Away we go! Have you got a present for our friend Lucy? Lucy? She's a little girl we know. Of course there's a present for her. Why do people always have such small chimneys? We could deliver the presents for you. All right. Put these presents in Lucy's Christmas stocking. Don't forget the tangerine. <gasps> Someone's coming! Keep still! Pretend to be a statue! That's odd. Some of the decorations have fallen off the tree. This little elf must go here. And this pretty fairy should be at the top of the tree. Phew! That was really close. Let's deliver Lucy's presents. You're supposed to be asleep. I'm too excited about Christmas. What are you doing here? We're delivering your Christmas presents. Whoa! Do elves and fairies get presents as well? No, but tonight we have the elf and fairy feast. There's lovely music and lanterns in the trees. That sounds nice. It's beautiful. We'd better go. Santa's waiting on your roof. Santa? On my roof? Cool. Merry Christmas, Lucy. Merry Christmas. Ah, oh, there you are. Uh, 
there wasn't a little snack down there for old Santa, was there? Yes, a mince pie. Delicious. And this drink. Even better. <coughs> We can't start the Elf and Fairy Feast until the others are back. Well, where are they? Ho, ho, ho! <gasps> Hello, everyone! We're back! Father Christmas gave us a lift on his sleigh. Thank you, Father Christmas. Would you like to stay for our Elf and Fairy Feast? No time, I'm afraid. I have to deliver presents to all the children of the world. How many deliveries have you done so far? One. Well, good luck. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Good. Now we're all here. Christmas can begin. Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Little Castle. To school. Here, yeah, boy. Come back, Gaston. <laughs> Naughty Gaston. Ugh. Holly and Ben, please keep Gaston under control. Sorry, Daddy. Hello, Strawberry. Hello, Holly. I've come to show you my new pet. <laughs> Ooh, come in. Hello, everyone. This is Fufu. My rainbow beetle. I say. She's very pretty. Watch this. Fufu, sit. Ooh. Roll over. Ooh. Shake hands. Wow. That's amazing. I've been taking Fufu to pet school. Well, it's very impressive. Why can't Gaston do tricks like that? Gaston can do tricks. Really? Yes. We've been teaching him to fetch your slippers. Oh, I'd like to see that. Gaston, fetch Daddy's slippers. <coughs> Good boy, Gaston. Drop the slippers, Gaston. <coughs> Drop! <coughs> Drop! Uh, he ate my slippers! Sorry, Daddy. Bad, Gaston. Uh, sit, Gaston. Sit, I say. Uh, I think it's about time Gaston was trained. He can go to pet school with Fufu. Good idea, Strawberry. Lead the way. Here we are. This is pet school. Look, all our friends are here. Hello. This is my pet, Stanley the Insect. Ruff, ruff. Hello, Hello, Stanley. Gaston! It's all right, Daddy. They're just saying hello. <laughs> this is my pet, Bobby B. <laughs> hello, Bobby B. This is my pet, Archie the Ant. <laughs> hello, Archie. Hello, Archie. Oh, no! It's King and Queen Marigold. Well, hello! How nice to see you. We always bring our pedigree greenfly to pet training. We've brought our ladybird. Well, you remember Lucinda, Gucci and Timmy? Timmy, say hello to the ladybird. <laughs> Timmy! Oh, no! Gaston, spit Timmy out. <laughs> Sorry about that. Look, here comes Miss Jolly. Who's Miss Jolly? Oh, <laughs> oh trigger! <laughs> Steady, boy! Morning, everybody! I'm Miss Jolly. Morning, Miss Jolly! Everyone on time, good show. Well done, Archie. Nice posture, Stanley. <laughs> She's funny. Chin up, Bobby. That's better. Let's face the future like we mean it. Aha! A new pet. Wonderful. Does he have a name? He's called Gaston. And I'm Holly. I'm Ben. And I'm King Thistle. Hello, Gaston. Well, 
Now, Mr. Thistle, why isn't Gaston wearing a lead? Uh... He never wears a lead. Nonsense! He has to wear a lead to be trained. Uh, he's not really trainable. Poppycock! All pets are trainable by Miss Jolly. Tell him to sit down. Ah, uh, sit, Gaston. Sit down, please. You see, it's impossible. Sit! Oh. Just be firm. Let your pet know who's boss. Now, let's all show Gaston how we walk with a lead. Nice and upright. That's it. Do you want to have a go, Gaston? No, don't talk to Gaston like that. Who's the boss here? Well, I've always thought of Gaston as a friend. You're the boss, so show him that. Gaston, heel! Knees up, Gaston. Chin in the air. Don't slouch. Good boy, Gaston. What a good boy. Now you do it, Mr. Thistle. Ah, uh, heel? Not bad, but louder. Heel! Okay, to the obstacle course, everyone. Don't dilly dally. Now the seesaw. Very good. Through the tunnel. Excellent. Round the poles. And jump over the mud pit. No flying, please, Bobby. Come on, Gaston, jump over. Remember who's in charge. Gaston, jump! That's it. Now the seesaw. Good work. Straight through, please. Good boy, Gaston. Round the poles. And jump over the mud pit. Uh-oh. Gaston's in the mud. He's covered in it. Ha-ha. <laughs> no harm in a bit of mud, is there, Gaston? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. Gaston is going to shake himself dry. <gasps> Sorry, Miss Jolly. <laughs> You're a mucky pup, aren't you, Gaston? But next time, you will jump over! Now, who'd like to show us all a trick? Oh, oh, me first. My green flies can dance. Oh, <laughs> She can lift really heavy things. Wow! Stanley can walk on his front legs. Ooh. Bobby B can do a somersault. <laughs> Whoa! Fufu can shake hands. Amazing! And what about Gaston? Uh, he does know how to fetch shoes. Excellent! But maybe it's not a good time to see it. Fiddlesticks! No time like the present! Gaston, fetch my boot! Oh no! Gaston is going to eat Miss Jolly's boots! Drop! Hooray! Hooray! Wow! He didn't eat! It. Gaston is now trained. Thank you, Miss Jolly. My pleasure. Just remember Miss Jolly's simple rule. Show them who's boss. Yes, Miss Jolly. Bye. Doodle Pip. Bye, Miss Jolly. It seems a bit silly to keep Gaston on the lead. But, Daddy, you're meant to show Gaston who's boss. Oh, I'm sure it wouldn't do any harm. Just this once. There we go. <laughs> um, should we keep Gaston outside? Nanny doesn't like his muddy feet indoors. Oh, yes. Gaston, wait outside. <laughs> oh. Well, I think we can bend the rules just this once. Hello. How was training? It was amazing. Miss Jolly put Gaston on a lead. Yes, Gaston is completely trained. 
He does everything I say. Really? Yes. He can even fetch shoes properly now. Goodness. Are you sure? Oh, yes. Watch this. Gaston, fetch the Queen's slippers, please. Good boy, Gaston. Drop. 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 Please. Ah, he's eaten my slippers. What's gone wrong? He was trained a minute ago. But, Daddy, you did break Miss Jolly's rules. Yes, we were supposed to show Gaston who's boss. What do you mean? You shouldn't have let him off the lead. And you shouldn't have let him come in the castle. You're right. I should be much firmer with him. Gaston, sit. Sit. Oh, well, pet school isn't such a big deal anyway. The important thing is Gaston knows who's boss. Come on, Gaston. Off my throne. Ah, uh, yes. I'll just sit down here. Yes, I think Gaston does know who's the boss. Today's adventure starts at the lake. Elf rescue! Nothing quite like sailing the high seas, eh, Nanny Plum? No, there's nothing quite as boring. Ha <laughs> ha, my little cherry blossom. I love it that you say what you mean. I don't like sailing in boats. They sink. Not my boat. It's unsinkable. Oops. What was that noise? I think we hit a rock. Ah! The boat is sinking. Never fear, Nanny Plum. I know just the people to call. Who's he calling? He's calling Elf Rescue. Elf Rescue? Elf Rescue? Hello! Redbeard here! My boat is sinking! I see you, Redbeard. Hang on! Elf Rescue are go! Calling all units to the lake! Redbeard's boat is sinking! Elf Rocket, A-OK! -okay. Elf Plane, A-OK! -okay. Elf Helicopter, A-OK! -okay. Elf Submarine, Okay. Elf rescue our go. We'll have you out of there in a jiffy. Mr. Elf, lower the claw. Lowering claw. <laughs> Hold on, I'm lifting you up. <laughs> Gosh, that was amazing. Would you like a cup of tea? Yes, please. Biscuit? Ooh, ginger snaps. My favourite. Thank you so much. Think nothing of it, Nanny Plum. It's all in a day's work for Elf Rescue. Thank you, Elf Rescue. Not at all. Whenever you need us, just call. Well, I'd better start fixing me boat. And we'd better go home. Oh, I'm too tired to walk. Shall we fly? That's even more tiring. It's not that far, Nanny Plum. I'd feel better about it if I had a biscuit. Maybe I'll call Elf Rescue. But, Nanny, I don't think Elf Rescue is really for giving people lift home. Nonsense. The wise old elf said, whenever you need us, just call. 
Elf Rescue. Hello, Nanny Plum here. I'm stuck by the lake. Stuck, you say? Hang on, we'll be right there. Elf Rescue are go. What seems to be the problem? My legs are tired. Can I have a lift home? What? Nanny Plum, the Elf Rescue Service is for emergencies only. Keep your hair on. Can you give me a lift or not? Mm, this is the way to travel. Tea, biscuits and a great view. Dad, can I have a go at flying? No, Ben. You're not a grown-up. It's not fair. Grown-ups have all the fun. We want to rescue people. You're just going to have to wait till you're older. Aww. Thank you, Elf Rescue. And don't waste our time again. Charming. The wise old elf is right, Nanny Plum. Elf Rescue is only for emergencies. Oh, whatever. Cool! You got rescued by Elf Rescue. I wish we could rescue people too. Yes! yes. It's just the silly grown-ups won't let us. <sighs> Elf Rescue! Ah, oh, thank goodness. We need your help, Elf Rescue. What's the problem? A big cow is stuck in some brambles. We'll be right there. Calling all units. Cow stuck in brambles. A-OK! -okay. Lower the mole. Lowering mole. Launch mole. The mole can dig up the brambles. Don't worry, Mrs. Cow. We'll have you out of there in no time. Dum, la -di dum ah! Elf Rescue! Help! Help me, Elf Rescue! Nanny Palum, I told you, Elf Rescue is for emergencies. This is an emergency. I'm stuck. Stuck with what? A tricky jigsaw? No, in the mud. Oh, Mr. Elf, you take over the cow rescue. I'll deal with Nanny Plum. Right all. I can't believe I got stuck in mud. What a day. Never mind. Elf Rescue will be here in a minute, and then it'll be tea and biscuits on the ride home. So, you are stuck. Of course I'm stuck. What did you think? Can't you use magic to get yourself out? No, my wand's over there. I see. Where are Elf Rescue? Are there any biscuits left? We don't need a rocket to pull you out of a puddle, Nanny Plum. It's not a puddle. It's very deep mud. Yes, yes, yes. I'll just pull you out. Oh, it's very deep mud. Told you. No problem. I'll call Elf Rescue. Hello. Thank you for calling Elf Rescue. We're a bit busy right now. Please call back later. Are they coming? No. So what do we do now? Uh. Shout for help! 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 Listen! Someone's shouting for help! 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 help. They need rescuing! We can rescue them! We can be Children Rescue! Hooray! Children Rescue are go! 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 Ben! Holly! We're Children Rescue! Thank goodness you're here! Are you stuck? Yes! Launch Gaston! I'm going to throw this lasso around your waist. Keep still! OK! Lift Gaston! Lift! Woo! Hooray! 
What about me? Oh, no! We won't get to the wise old elf in time. I know. I can magic him out of the mud. Oh, yes. Good idea, Holly. No, no, no. No magic. I want to be rescued properly. That is properly. Magic is cheating. Please let me use magic or we won't be able to get you out. No magic. Please. No, 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 no. Magic, please. Ah! Well done, children rescue. Hello. You rang us, wise old elf. What seems to be the trouble? Ah, uh, nothing. Panic over. Wise old elf, you should know better than to call out elf rescue for no reason. But, but... It wasn't for no reason. Children rescue had to rescue us from the mud. Oh, in that case, I think everyone deserves a lift home. Oh, goody. Biscuits. Oh, this is the way to travel. Got any more of those ginger snaps? Yes! Biscuits are go! Go, go, go!